Big changes are on the horizon. The US dollar is in a tough spot, and the BRICS nations are thinking about leaving. A major event in August called the BRICS Summit is causing a lot of buzz. This summit is filled with politics, arrests, and even India trying to make its mark. The big news is that they might launch a new gold-backed currency, and there's talk about what they'll use, not XRP. It's all linked to discussions about a new world order. So let's dive into the video to know how everything is about to change after September 23 related to this BRICS summit. The BRICS summit just happened, and it's a big deal. It's different from previous ones because it's trying to update and strengthen the group. This shows that the way countries work together in the world should change. Some countries want to join BRICS, which shows there are problems with how things are done now. The West, which includes countries like the United States and Europe, often uses financial punishments, doesn't always follow climate promises, and doesn't care much about food and health for poorer countries. Because of these issues, many countries are unhappy with how the world works. BRICS is getting bigger, and it's also trying to make some rules and ways of doing things. This could make it more appealing for countries in the developing world to join. Some of the new members, like Iran, might not be seen as good partners by Western countries. These new countries will need to figure out how to work together. They might not create a new currency like some people talk about, but they might start trading using their own money instead of the U.S. dollar. This means they can be less dependent on the U.S. The challenge isn't just about which countries join BRICS, it's about who gets to decide on the rules and policies. BRICS makes decisions together, which can be hard, but it's worth trying to make things more fair. Some countries got together and complained about the West. They said the West causes problems and can't handle them. These countries don't always agree, but they can agree on not liking what the West does. The old way of thinking about countries and their alliances doesn't work anymore because the old friends aren't so reliable. Stories about the way things used to work are losing their power. Instead, countries are looking for new ways to act together. They want to change the way the world works, because they're tired of how the West does things. BRICS Plus doesn't have a plan for how to run the world, and some of the new members aren't great at democracy and human rights. But the G7, which is another group of powerful countries, should know that BRICS Plus is more than just a way for China to get what it wants. All the BRICS plus countries have their own plans and use BRICS to discuss them. According to the Bible, the year 2023 is very significant because it's part of what's known as the 70th week of Daniel. This is something important to understand. First, let's talk about the 10 kings mentioned in Revelation chapter 17, verse 12. It says that these 10 horns represent 10 kings who haven't ruled yet, but will gain authority along with a powerful figure known as the beast for a short time. Daniel also talks about these ten kings in Daniel chapter 7, verse 24. It says that ten kings will arise, and another will come after them and be different, and he will subdue three of these kings. So, who are these ten kings? They're essentially powerful nations that will rise in the end times before the appearance of the Antichrist, who will later take control by subduing three of these kings. Interestingly, in today's context, it seems like these ten kings are already here, and they are often referred to as the BRICS nations. These nations include Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa. But more nations might join this group of world economies. These additional nations include Argentina, Egypt, Ethiopia, Iran, Saudi Arabia, and the United Arab Emirates. They are expected to become full members of BRICS starting from 1st of January 2024. Now let's go back to what Daniel talked about. He didn't only mention the 10 kings, there were other things too. Many of us remember the COVID-19 pandemic, which was a significant event in 2020. According to biblical prophecy, there's a link between the pandemic and what's written in Daniel chapter 12, verse 11. This verse talks about the daily sacrifice being taken away, which can be seen as a disruption of our daily lives. During the pandemic, Everything changed dramatically. Travel was restricted, businesses closed, and daily life as we knew it was disrupted. From a prophetic biblical perspective, this verse helps us understand why the pandemic was such a big deal. Now, let's look at the current year, 2023. In August, there was an important event called the BRICS Summit. It started on August 22nd, 
which was just a month before the abomination of desolation mentioned in Daniel chapter 12, verse 11. To explain why this is significant, let's do some calculations. If we count from the official declaration of the pandemic on March 11th, 2020 to September 22nd, 2023, it's exactly 1290 days, as mentioned in the verse. The BRICS summit has happened in South Africa, and it's expected that they will make progress in setting up a new trading currency mechanism. However, it's unlikely that everything will be sorted out during this summit. The abomination of desolation, as mentioned in Daniel, is a significant event linked to the Antichrist's revelation to the world. This event has not occurred yet. These prophecies are given to believers in advance so that they are prepared and aware of what's happening. The abomination of desolation is a key event to watch for. And right before it, we have the BRICS Nations meeting, which adds to the intrigue of these prophetic times. As we said this time, BRICS is discussing a new global currency that everyone could use worldwide. It is about the future of the U.S. dollar and how long it should remain the world's reserve currency. This is a significant consideration as it aligns with the belief that a new world order, a new world religion, and a new world currency will emerge before the end times. The notion of a new world order often conjures up conspiracy theories, but it's essential to acknowledge that global dynamics are indeed shifting. There is a growing sense that a new world order is on the horizon, and BRICS nations are at the forefront of these changes. And with the evolution of BRICS with new nations, another change is also on the way. A new development bank has been established in Shanghai, China, to facilitate joint financial operations among BRICS countries. These nations conduct their trade and business in their respective currencies. The primary aim behind establishing this bank is to eventually create an alternative to the U.S. dollar, which some believe will eventually collapse. In discussing biblical prophecies, we encounter verses like 2 Corinthians chapter 11 verses 14 and 15, which warn us about the deceptive nature of Satan and his followers. Satan can transform himself into an angel of light, making it challenging to discern his deceitful ministers who may appear as agents of righteousness. This suggests that the followers of the Antichrist may disguise themselves as bearers of good when they are not. Moving on to Jerusalem, it is a city of immense significance in biblical prophecy. Revelation 17 and 16 speaks of ten horns that shall hate a great city, make her desolate, and eventually consume her with fire. Later, in Revelation 17 and 18, it is revealed that the woman seen is that great city which reigns over the kings of the earth. Notably, the term great city is mentioned ten times in the book of Revelation, consistently referring to Jerusalem. Thus, Jerusalem is central to end time events. Jerusalem holds a unique place in Bible prophecy, and it's important to understand its role. The city was declared the capital of Israel over 3,000 years ago, and God proclaimed that once he established it as the capital, it would remain so forever, impervious to change. This declaration underscores Jerusalem's significance in biblical narratives. With their unified purpose and intent, the gathering of bricks in Johannesburg raises questions about their alignment with the prophetic belief that their actions might contribute to giving their kingdom to the beast. When considered in light of biblical prophecy, these events and signs encourage us to be vigilant and prepared for the end times. As Revelation 22 and 20 reminds us, we should anticipate the coming of the Lord Jesus and seek God's mercy in these times. What do you think of the BRICS Summit and its significance with biblical prophecies? Comment below and subscribe for more.